law of attraction can literally be your best friend, but it can also be your worst enemy. Why? Well, it's because of this thing called momentum. When we are first learning about the law of attraction, we learn that your feelings, your thoughts create your reality. Okay. The main key factor here that a lot of you are pretending to forget, or maybe you've never heard this before, is that these things take time. So the law of attraction works almost like a, a delayed effect. So the things that I'm manifesting today are things that I probably manifested yesterday or a week ago or months ago, depending on what the manifestation is, whether it's like a bigger thing or a smaller thing, it can take a different amount of time to manifest for you. But the law of attraction takes time. It's not something that typically works overnight. So the biggest block for a lot of people practicing the law of attraction and thinking that it doesn't work it's because they're doing the affirmations they're doing the inner work they're reprogramming but they don't see results they keep manifesting the same thing and so they think oh it doesn't work it's not real it doesn't work for me blah 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 but this isn't true the problem is you haven't given it enough time to actually work for you there's a delayed reaction when it comes to the law of attraction and so when you're doing this, you need to focus on reprogramming your core beliefs, which I talk a lot about in my different packages and courses and stuff, but I'm gonna give you a simple three-step process that you can use to reprogram your core beliefs and reprogram your identity. The first step is, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? You need to start becoming painfully self-aware of what is going on in your mind. So anytime you catch yourself feeling down or even feeling a positive emotion, right in that moment, ask yourself, where did this come from? Emotions are triggered by our thoughts and our thoughts are triggered by our perception, AKA your core beliefs, your identity. So when you trace it back a little bit and think, okay, I just got really sad. Why did I just get really sad? Why am I all of a sudden feeling anxious? Did something happen? Did I have a thought come into my head? Did someone say something to me? Like what exactly just happened that I went from feeling okay to feeling anxious? And then you trace that emotion back to the initial thought that you got. Maybe you're feeling anxious because you have to do some kind of presentation. And the reason that you're feeling anxious about that is because you are shy why are you shy because you think that when you are presenting other people are judging you so that's the core belief that you need to target is no other people aren't judging me when i'm doing my presentation they're listening to what i'm saying right and if they do judge me or if i do mess up in some way they'll forget about it in five minutes because everyone's just thinking about themselves no one's going to be talking about my business presentation for the rest of my life like this is not something that's going to affect you long term. Maybe you will feel anxious, but that's the worst thing that can happen. Being able to recognize your emotions and recognize where they come from, what thoughts, what perceptions, what beliefs trigger this emotion is a key step when you're practicing the law of attraction. Because then the second step is going to be to challenge these core beliefs. So just like how I already kind of gave you an example of being shy about public speaking, you kind of pick at that core belief and invalidate it. Figure out why that core belief isn't ultimately true. You can ask yourself probing questions, right? Like let's say you have a limiting belief come up and you caught it in the moment, you realize like what caused your emotion, what your core belief is. How do you challenge that core belief? Well, you need to ask yourself, is this ultimately true for everybody? Does everybody have this experience? Does everybody else have this situation that applies to them? If not, if this isn't ultimately true for every single human being on earth, then why does it have to be true for me? The only thing making it true for me is the fact that I believe this. So what can I believe instead that would actually benefit my success or at least make me feel a little bit better and not feeling anxious for no reason? 
So once you figure out how you can challenge that core belief, how you can upgrade it and find a better core belief that serves you, then you're going to reinforce that. This is where most people give up because it's easy to identify your emotions if you're practicing self-awareness and you're trying to actively improve, then it's easy to recognize when you're feeling anxious, when you're feeling sad. And then from there, it's relatively easy to then trace that emotion back to a deep core belief or at least a thought that you had that triggered that emotion. You've challenged it, you've come up with an upgraded core belief, you know logically speaking, what would be the better core belief that you want to adopt. But then in the reinforcement stage is where you actually have to put in effort because now you have to continuously reinforce this new core belief until you actually believe it. For you, this could take a week. This could take a day. This could take a month. It could take several months. The key is that you cannot give up. You cannot put in a week of effort and then say it doesn't work. You have to keep going until you feel something different. Understand that this process works. You can take me as an example. I've used this process in every single area of my life. If you watched any of my other videos, you already know that I have used this in my relationships, in my friendships, in my personal appearance, my health, my habits, my financial situation, my career, the way I dress. Like I have used this method this technique of reprogramming in every single area of my life. And then once you have your new core belief that you actually believe because you've been repeating this new affirmation or this new mantra for the past 30 days. And now when you say the mantra, you actually feel better saying it. You actually feel like it's true. That's when you know it's working. When you start to see changes in your reality, People are going to start responding to you differently. You're actually going to feel it when you say it, because in the beginning, it's super common to say the affirmations and the mantras and then feel like you're lying to yourself. That's totally normal, because think about it. You have these core beliefs, this identity formed for a long period of time. This has been your whole life, probably, that you've been struggling with this. So in order to actually change that, it's going to take some time to like uproot all that old stuff, right? And then be able to like believe something new, it's gonna take a minute. So give it some time, give it some patience. The best thing you can do for yourself is immerse yourself in personal growth, immerse yourself in a community that supports your progress. Because a lot of times when we're doing this by ourselves, it's so easy to like give up and then No one is here to hold us accountable, right? But when you join a community, there's other people here that are doing the same thing that you're doing. They're on the same mission. So it's easier to feel supported. And even through times of stress, you're able to keep going because you have that community support around you. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, but you have no friends that are into personal growth, you don't really have a community around you that's available to you. I invite you to join my community. It's an online community. It's free to join. You can download the app and everything. Super easy. You can chat with other people. And if you do decide to join any of my courses, inner work, personal growth, money manifestation, whatever, that's all going to be there on the app. So it's like a personal wellness hub slash wellness community. I love it. I'm so excited. I know a lot of you have already joined and I can't wait to grow more and get to know everyone better. The first step is being self-aware. The second step is challenging the core beliefs that aren't serving you. And then the third step is continuously reinforcing this new upgraded core belief. Once you do this and you actually change your core beliefs, that's going to shift your identity. And from there, you're going to be manifesting on autopilot. So flash forward six months from now, you're going to have a completely different life a completely different mindset and it's going to be because you invested this effort now but if you keep waiting you're not going to see those results right away like i said the law of attraction takes time to compound your efforts in the background right it has like a delayed effect don't wait because when you make the decision to start three months from now you're still going to have three more months of these bad manifestations these things that you don't want to keep happening are going to keep happening until you start the journey. All right. 
So with that being said, if you have any questions about the law of attraction, personal growth, wellness, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know in the comments, what are your new upgraded core beliefs? Set your intention now that you are going to be the next level best version of yourself and let me know in the comments below. Let's share this energy, use the collective energy to all level up together, all right? So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and I love you. Bye. Mwah.